variable winds and jet stream. The third major wind system is that of the variable winds which are also related to pressure systems. Variable winds last for a few days and affect only small areas. These winds blow in different directions depending on the movement of pressure systems. They are called variable winds because their speed as well as direction varies. Cyclones and anti-cyclones are examples of variable winds. A cyclone is a small low pressure system with winds blowing anti-clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Cyclones originate when the sun's heat stirs up moist air over oceans where the temperature is more than 27 degrees Celsius. Strong winds blow towards the center of the cyclone from all directions. As more and more air spirals inwards towards the center, new incoming air is forced to rise. On rising, this new moist air cools down, resulting in rain. The weather associated with cyclones is always dull, with overcast skies and very heavy rainfall, accompanied by thunder and lightning. Cyclones that develop in the tropical region are different from those of the temperate latitudes. A hurricane is a tropical cyclone that produces winds over 119 kilometers per hour. Tropical cyclones in the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean and the Western Pacific Ocean are known as hurricanes. Hurricanes cause severe damage to life and property. Typhoons are another type of tropical cyclones that originate in the China Sea. These winds are also very violent and destructive. Tornadoes are storms which form very suddenly on land. They look like a twisting funnel of air. As it goes on, it sucks up anything that stands in its path, including buildings, trees, animals and cars. The highest wind speeds on Earth occur in tornadoes, sometimes reaching 500 kilometers per hour. If a tornado forms over the sea, it is known as a water spout. When it touches the ocean, water is sucked up and it seems to rise out of the sea like an enormous dark grey sea serpent. Depressions are the cyclones of temperate latitudes, mainly associated with rain and usually occur in Europe. These winds are not very violent and do not cause any damage. An anticyclone is a high pressure system with winds blowing clockwise in the northern hemisphere and anticlockwise in the southern hemisphere. An anticyclone is formed wherever air sinks and a high pressure is created. Winds begin to blow outward from the high pressure area. The Coriolis effect deflects it to the right in the northern hemisphere causing a clockwise rotation. Since an anticyclone is made of sinking air which gets warm, it does not bring rain. Generally, it brings clear skies, dry and more settled weather since sinking air is more stable. Near the tropopause, strong winds develop due to great temperature and pressure, which blow with a speed of 300 km per hour, called jet streams. Jet streams are stronger in winter and they weaken in the summer. Jet streams play a part in moving the major air masses. They also play a role in bringing the summer monsoons on the Indian Ocean.